Hello everybody, NDM Techmarks here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fake error message like this one. This may look like Microsoft Outlook to you, but really when we double click, Outlook unavailable. It's not a real error message. And I'm going to be teaching you how to make something similar to that. You maybe prank your friends or something like that. I don't know. But first thing you gotta do is press your start button and find notepad and if not right there go into your run program and type in notepad and then you have a notepad window open so you may think that notepad is just for making you guessed it notes notes and most importantly notes it's not true we can also use this for coding coding and you guessed it coding so what we're gonna want to do if we want to make our fake error message x equals message box parenthesis quotation and then we type in what we want to be right there like it says outlook unavailable we should we could type hi for instance so type in hi and then comma that's a very important thing or else it won't work and then zero plus sixteen and zero plus sixteen is the okay and the x so, like if you do zero plus thirty two you will get the like the triangle with the exclamation point through it but I'll leave a list for all the numbers in the description so then comma we want to stay basic quotation and then the title which is Outlook Express so let's say we want just want to put in error or something like that um so yeah you put that in and you put it in the parenthesis and there's your one line of code it takes up about 8 bytes 16 bytes so we save as not just click save. Now we have to save it as a VBS, Visual Basic Script. And that just helps the computer determine that you're coding this. Always stay at ANSI. Because you don't know what the other ones might do to your line of code. That's the basic line of code. So we save hi.vbs. Or let's just name it as hello dot vbs and we're saving it to our desktop and now you can see that it's a piece of paper with a little like sheet on it a blue sheet if you open up notepad and then save a basic note or text file as like notes dot text and save it it'll appear as a text file. You can see the similarities between the two are barely anything. So, so we have our hello here. Click on it. And there you go. You got your little box error thing. Now I'm going to tell you like what I meant about the 0 plus 32 or something. Now if we save, it's a question mark. And if we decide that we're going to do 0 plus 48, I'm sure that that's not 1, so don't plague me if I mess up. Hey, look at that. It's a triangle. So yeah, um, that's about it. That is how you make a fake error messages through Notepad. Also, I'd like to tell you, how did I make it look like the computer thing right there? What you have to do first is go to your desktop and do new shortcut. Click browse desktop and look for hello. And then it'll be a name for the shortcut. Hello. And 
Then we press finish, and now it's a shortcut, and we're able to change the icon for it to change icon. So now we can change it to any of these desired icons, or have some of our own. And luckily, we ha I have some of my own here. So I'm not going to do that, but it must be an ICO file. And if you want it to sync, you have to figure that out yourself. But so let's select the icon icon and click apply. Now it's got that icon. It might take you a little while to save, like if it says an error message has appeared, like saying that the file location is indirect. Just go back to the properties and just click OK and then restart your system and you'll be fine. So that about wraps up this video. Um Hope you guys enjoyed, and please like and subscribe if this video helped you. If it did not, please feel free to comment and maybe dislike why this did not help you, and I will lead to some improvements. Please do not hate. I try my honest best on this channel. Thank you, and have a great day.